I think we all know the difference between right and wrong. Um, you know, we're taught that very early on, and it's really not that significant a challenge to try to figure out which way you should come down on an issue. Uh, the answer, of course, is having the courage to do that, even if it's going to be very costly to you and if it's going to be something significant uh, that you're going to have to deal with. There was a situation a number of years ago where with escalating costs on uh, health care, we found that you know we'd gone through something like 10 years in a row of double-digit increases in the cost of health care. And we tried to maintain the program for our employees, and I think at that particular point in time, uh, they were paying 5% and we were paying 95%. The company, Costco, was paying 95%. Well, it became obvious that we had to go to them and say it's no longer possible for us to pick up 95%. Uh, we're going to ask you to pay 10% and we'll pay 90%. But we'll make sure that you're paying uh, no more than 10%. Well, when we did the numbers for the year and they came in, we saw that we had overestimated the cost of the increases that were coming and that we had uh, uh, several million dollars that... Uh, we really had not paid, and, and, and so we went to the employees, and we gave them all a, an award and their 401k plan equal to, uh, dis, you know, proportionate to their share for everybody. Now, you know, I guess we didn't have to do that. Probably didn't expect it. They probably were prepared to understand the plan the way it had been expected, but we felt an obligation because we had explained it in that fashion, and uh, we thought it was... Uh, very, very appropriate and necessary that we keep our word to our people. It would have been just as easy and much more profitable to just take the opposite position. Um, we didn't. I mean, we felt that uh, uh, our word to our employees was much more important than the money that was involved in this. And it was significant to them relative to their life.